So let us take a look at this income statement question. So Timbiso Limited, you are provided with information for the financial year ended 28 Feb 2018. When did the financial year begin? So just a quick rule, the plus one minus one method. So plus one for the date, minus one for the year. Our financial year began on the 1st of March 2017. And it ends on 28 Feb 2018. Just getting your financial year is very important for a lot of our adjustments that we're going to take a look at, um, especially the rent calculation, everybody's favorite. Okay, so as you guys already know, I like to keep my accounting PowerPoints, my accounting slides, having everything on one page. So the required, the information, as well as what you'll have in the answer booklet. But for this income statement question, it was really difficult. So if you look on the next slide, that is the income statement. Um, so I'll be flipping quite a bit from left to right, left to right. Sorry about that, but this time the logistics, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't on our side. Okay, so we've got a number of adjustments that we'll need to take a look at. And please note guys, this was a very large question. It was an income statement, a balance sheet, ordinary share capital, retain income. There was a lot going on. I've divided it up into several videos just to make everything a bit more bite size. So if we just look back at the slide again, this is exactly what is going to feature in your answer booklet. Remember everything that is in bold, it has been given to you. Um, we'll need to calculate a number of amounts as well as what we have here in these rows, um, our operating expenses. Okay, so without further discussion, uh, let us get into the work for today. So first things first, we wanna calculate our sales amount. I know it's pretty easy. It's just sales minus did as allowances, whatever was returned. This time it's, it's not that easy. Our sales figure is unknown, but we do have cost of sales. If you take a look at the first adjustment, the sale of goods, the company maintains a markup of 40% on cost. And note that all goods costing 96,000 included in cost of sales were sold at 10% below cost price. So this is what our calculation is gonna look like. We will need to factor in cost of sales because we don't have a sales amount. So 4856000 minus that 96,000. As that 96,000 did not have a markup of 40% on cost, but instead of making a profit, we actually made a loss. So we subtract that amount and then we multiply it by our markup on cost. So we can multiply it by 1,4, 140%. 140 over 100, whatever floats your boat. So 1,4 or 1,40, same thing. And we get a nice little answer here of 666. Oh no, that's a bad number. 6664000. So 6 million 664,000. Okay, and now let's factor in the 96,000. So 96,000, and we're just gonna multiply that by 0, 0,9 to get what we actually sold it for. And that was a figure of 86,400. Okay, and if you sum these two amounts, if we add them together, we get a sales figure, a grand total of 6,750,400. Oh, and that is it, and we can plug those figures in. So we plug in, 6,750,400 minus the 400, sorry, 4,856,000 and we get 1,894,400. You know, in these accounting videos, I always have a Zuma moment. You know, I'm not even going to do the accent right now. You know, that's our ex-president. Let's, uh, let's respect him or, <laughs> or, or not, or not. But yeah, anyway, let's keep politics out of the videos. What do you guys say? But I really want to do the accents, hey? I, I, I won't do it. I won't, I won't do it. Should I? Okay, may, maybe in the next accounting video. But what I love when he made that mistake uh, and then he, he starts to do that little dance and then he says, listen properly. I, I, I love that. It makes me feel so South African. <laughs> okay, so after we get that 1894 400 figure, we can add it to the 879,440. Therefore, 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 our gross income amount is two million seven hundred and seventy three thousand eight hundred and forty. Okay, operating expenses we still need to calculate it. Uh, they've already given us salaries and wages, so that's sorted. Okay, so regarding our audit fees, seventy five percent of the annual fees have been paid. That's sixty five thousand four hundred rands amount. 
So that 65,400, that only represents 75% of the annual fees that have been paid. Only 75%. But what represents 100%? What do you guys think? Well, it's always a matter of what we want over what we have. So it's going to be 65,400 times what we want. We want 100. We have 75. And that gives us a total of 87,200. And we can plug that in. So audit fees, our grand total here is going to be 87,200. So it was the 65,400 that was given plus the difference between the two. So 87,200 minus 65,400 is equal to 21,800. Okay, and that's audit fees sorted. Next, we get to director's fees. The company has three directors who earn the same fee but one director was paid two months in advance. So we have three directors that were paid for the entire year, but one of the directors was paid for an additional two months as well. So three times 12 plus two, quick maths is equal to 38. So the director's fees amount, the 497,800, it represents 38 months. So let us get the monthly amount per month and then subtract two months for that prepaid expense. What do you guys think? Or alternatively, I guess a faster method, since that 497,800 represents 38 months and we just want 36 months, we can also perform a calculation like this. So 497,800, just erase that, 497,800 times 36 over 38. That will give us what should have been paid and we can subtract that difference. So this is what our calculation is going to look like. So again, director's fees. So we have that 497,800 figure. We multiplied it by, well, 36 over 38. That would have got you the 471,600. And we subtract the difference between the two amounts, which is going to be 26,200. 26, okay, next. Everyone's favorite, the rent calculation. So a storeroom was rented from the 1st of June 2017 at 11,200 rands per month. So 11 June 2017. So we've skipped March, we've skipped April, and we've skipped May. So it's just going to be for nine months. So they could have also had a baby in this period. I also have biology videos out. Just by the way, BT dubs. Okay, let's continue. And the rent increased by 7.5% on the 1st of December 2017 provide for outstanding rent. So June, July, count on your fingers with me, August, September, October, November. So for six months, we paid rent at 100%. And for three months, we paid rent at 107,5%. So that's nine months. And the other three months, well, we didn't rent the storeroom in that period. So we need to provide for the outstanding rent amount. So this is what our calculation is going to look like. So it's going to be that 11,200 rand figure times six months. Easy. But it's also the 11,200. Let's factor in the increase so we can multiply that by now 107,5% times three months. And we'll get a grand total of the sum of these two little calculations. So you can just plug that into your calculator quickly, quickly, and you'll get 67,200 plus 36,120, which is equal to 103,320. So our rent expense amount is going to be what they had given us, 79,240. Our total is going to be 103,320. And the difference between those two figures is going to be 24,080. Remember, show all calculation. Okay. Loan will be a completely different calculation. We'll plug that into interest expense. So that's going to be the interest on the loan for interest expense. Income tax, we still need to factor that in. So that's going to be our 341,800 plus the 31,300. Okay. So you know what? Let's just fill it in immediately. So the interest expense amounted to 242,500. You're probably wondering about these four bullets here. Yeah, that's going to be in the balance sheet video. So this is income statement. The balance sheet video I'm going to post in the same period. It's still going to be 10 so Limited. Just have a look through the videos that I've posted. There's even a playlist as well. You can check it out. So the interest expense amount, let's just plug it in, is going to be 242500 
the income tax amount, like we already said, is going to be that three four one eight hundred, the provisional tax payments, plus the thirty one three that's still owing, and that's going to give you three seven three one hundred. Okay. Also, if you look very carefully, feel free to pause the video now and just have a look. There's still one operating expense that we've missed out. That literally we just need to plug in for really for one really easy mark. Hopefully you found it. It's going to be sundry expenses. We can just write that in. This is a really, really easy mark. You know, like monkey see, monkey do. If you just run through the list, that is the only operating expense that we missed. Okay. And we can just totalize everything now. So you add all your operating expenses up. So the 501 plus the 87 plus the 471 plus the 103 plus the 91. If you plug all that good stuff into your calculator, you'll get one, two, five, five, zero, zero, zero. So remember, practice your calculator work as well. Just be a bit quicker, more efficient. Try and be as meticulous as possible. And the difference between your gross income amount and operating expenses, so the difference between these two, is going to give us the operating profit amount of one, five, one, eight, eight, forty. Okay, if you look very carefully, our interest income amount is unknown. That's going to be our interest on fixed deposit. So that's most likely going to be your BF, your boyfriend. No, I'm just, I'm joking. Such a terrible joke. BF in accounting, it's your balancing figure. So that's unknown. So let's just keep working down. So we know what our operating profit is. We don't know about interest income, but we can work now from the bottom. So we know this figure here is 959400 oh sorry i made a small mistake income tax is an expense it's an outflow so we just plug in our brackets so 959400 minus the 373100 it would give you 600000 but if you look very carefully look at the order of it all we don't subtract them we actually add it together we're doing it in a different order here it's like from bottom to top a reverse order if that's not making sense let me introduce some Maths paper one, some algebra knowledge. So it's going to be our unknown here. So let's just call it X minus three, seven, three, one hundred, which is equal to the nine, five, nine, four hundred. And if you were to isolate X, X is equal to the nine, five, nine, four hundred. This negative, when you take it over to the right hand side, it becomes positive. So X is equal to nine hundred and fifty nine thousand four hundred plus three. 373,100, and that gives us a grand total of 132,500. And we can just plug that in immediately. Okay, no more questions asked. Yeah, and we do the same here. Remember, again, sorry, an interest expense is an outflow. Let me just plug in my brackets. We add these two again. If that's not making too much sense, set up your linear equation. Remember, use your mathematics skills if you, if you even have any. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I, I hope you have. A little something because <laughs> you're probably in matric if you're watching this video. All the best for your maths paper one, guys. And you'll get 1575000. Zero, zero, zero. And the difference between these two amounts. So, what do we add to 1518 to get this 1575? Plug it into your calculator and you will get 56,160. If I just run through that calculation one more time, it's going to be 1,575,000 minus. 1,518,840 and that is how we get to 56,160 and that is the question done and dusted completed finito finished finished and clear okay we've just worked through an entire income statement uh if you're wondering look what are we going to do about this massive loan calculation watch the next video if you're wondering about share capital and dividends watch the video titled ordinary share capital hashtag two and retain income hashtag two i've broken it up so it's you know not just one long drawn out video when everyone is falling off to sleep okay thanks for watching the entire video i'll see you guys in the next one cheers